welcome to another episode of Pramila's Veggie Recipes. Firstly, thank you to all my supporters who have been watching my videos, giving me their feedback and putting their photos through. Today I will show you how to make burritos with kidney beans topped up with uh, tomato sauce, mozzarella cheese and a little bit of avocado on the top. The ingredients we need for this recipe are a tablespoon or two of vegetable oil, some freshly chopped chilies and fresh ginger. You can add garlic, chopped up onions here as an option. Half a red pepper, one tin of 400 grams of chopped tomatoes, one tin of kidney beans, which is 400 grams. And I'm going to season it with some fajita seasoning. You can use taco seasoning or just salt, pepper and mixed herbs. A tiny bit of salt as required. A couple of tortilla wraps. I'm going to garnish it with pasta sauce. Again, you can use either passata sauce, plain boiled tomato sauce with just a bit of salt, pepper and basil. But as I'm doing it as a very quick recipe, I'm going to use uh, the easy option here. Here I've got 100 grams of grated mozzarella cheese. And to make it that little extra special, I'm going to put some chopped avocado and a garnish of freshly chopped basil leaves. So let's make a start. First, I'm going to mash the kidney beans slightly. So the beans are mashed. Now I will take the ingredients to the hob and we'll start cooking. A tablespoon of vegetable oil. Right, and then I'm going to add a tiny bit of fresh chilies because the fajita sauce is also quite spicy, especially with children. You might find it too spicy. I'm going to add the fresh ginger. Let that sizzle for a few minutes. At this stage you can add freshly chopped onions or garlic if you so prefer. I am cooking it today with no onion, no garlic. Okay, the ginger is sizzling away. Now I'm going to add the peppers. I'm going to leave a tiny bit behind to garnish on top of the burritos. You don't want them too overcooked. I'm just going to let them get a little warmer and I'm going to add the tomato sauce, otherwise they'll turn soggy. So that's great. I'm going to now add 400 grams of chopped tomatoes. To that, I'm going to add one level teaspoon of fajita seasoning. If you like it spicy, you can add a bit more. Half a teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of vinegar. And mix it up together. and let the tomatoes cook for a couple of minutes. Meantime, I'm going to put my grill on. Those of you who have been following me will notice that my recipes are very quick and simple. A lot of university students have started messaging me saying how easy it is to cook up a meal after their daily classes and 
also a lot of the working mums and adults advising me how quickly they can whiz up a meal in the evening with my wonderful recipe. So continue following and continue sending me your feedback, your photos. It's always very motivating and keeps me going. Right, so our tomatoes are sizzling away nicely. I'm going to add the mashed beans to this. Mix that well. This time I'm making my burritos with kidney beans, but you can use stir fry vegetables, carrots, cabbage, spring onions, peppers. And that also tastes equally good as a filling. I will let that cook for a couple of minutes. Okay, the beans are bubbling away. I'm going to leave the lid up for a couple of minutes just for the moisture to evaporate a little bit. Turn off the gas and I will now put the filling in my tortilla wraps. Okay, so let's start filling the burritos now. I'm going to put a couple of ladles of the mixture. Gently roll it up. pop it onto the tray. Do the same with the second one. You may find a bit of mixture left or if you want to stuff a bit more, that's fine. The mixture is lovely with the toasted sandwich as well. So there won't be any wastage. tomato sauce okay. I'm going to sprinkle some mozzarella cheese You can mix a bit of cheddar cheese as well if you fancy. Okay, now garnish it with a few peppers on the top. As I've said in previous recipes, when food looks good, it tastes good and it attracts the consumer. Right, and now I'm going to put some avocado. lovely dish is ready to go under the grill. Lovely, the burritos have browned up nicely, the cheese is bubbling away. I'm going to take that out carefully. Voila. So this dish has been in the grill for approximately five minutes. It depends on the intensity of the heat that you've left the burritos under. 
but just make sure that the cheese is just golden brown. Thank you for watching another episode of Premi Lai's Veggie Recipes. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you very much.